YouTube, Kim Osabi here, coming at you with part 6 of the Thailand Rescue Mission of the Thang Lung Caves, rescuing the wild boar soccer team and their coach. So we're continuing off of the CNM webpage with the write-up of all the reporters of Ryan Reyes, Ian McCurdy, Hillary Whiteman, and Meg Wagner of CNN, updated 106 minutes ago, 2.26 p.m. ET, July 10th, uh, 2018. So we'll go as of, as of all the updates that were from 16 hours ago, roughly. And we'll let you know ahead of time that all of the team has been rescued. Woohoo! And we'll go over the details now. 16 hours 35 minutes ago. Breaking news. Operation resumes on day 3 for the final 5 of the wild boar team. So the final uh, 4 kids and the coach. So the final 5. Divers and rescue workers in Thailand have begun what could be the final push to free four boys and their soccer coach still trapped in the cave in the country's remote north, according to a Thai Navy official with knowledge of the operational details. Eight of the boys were taken out of the cave during the first two days of rescue operations, but five others remained trapped on a ledge 4 kilometers, 2.5 miles inside the cave system. Ten hours and fifty-seven minutes ago. Eight boys freed from cave are healthy. Thai health officials update the media on the condition of the eight boys who have left the cave. The eight Thai boys who have been rescued from the Tham Lang Long Cave complex are healthy, fever-free, mentally um, well, and are taking and are talking normally. Medical officials in Chiang Rai said at a news conference today, Dr. Jed Sada, Cho Kadamrong Suk, the permanent secretary of the Thai Health Ministry, said he expects the boys will spend about seven days in hospital because of their weakened immune systems. Right now, they are all in quarantine as authorities work to determine whether or not any of them contracted infections while in the dark, damp cave. Authorities will likely look for signs of Histoplasmosis, also known as cave disease, an infection caused by breathing in spores of fungus often found in bird and bat droppings, according to the Mayo Clinic. Two of the boys had lung infections, according to Thai health authorities. Families of the first four boys rescued have been able to visit them through a glass window, Cho Kendamrong Suk said. And... 14 hours and 44 minutes ago, I got them mixed up. Heavy rains in Nauduate, in Nauduate, northern Thailand. We have a tweet from Steve George. Monsoon rain is now coming down hard in my side, and rain is no, no sign of letting up. The routine, return of the rains will put extra pressure on today's rescue efforts as divers battle to retrieve the remaining kids and the coach before the floodwaters rise. The rain has started to pour in Maysai, Thailand, which could complicate efforts to rescue the four boys and their soccer coach, still trapped in Thang Nong Nong Cave. Former Chiang Rai governor and rescue mission commander Norang Sak At Than Nakorn has characterized the operation as a race against water and time. Previously, rescue efforts have been aided by unseasonably dry conditions, but with the return of the monsoon rains, efforts will take on a new urgency. Experts close to the operation have expressed concerns that a rise in water levels could increase the risk for divers and extend the time required to bring the boys out from the cave. Currently, a significant part of the journey out of the cave is walkable. 14 hours and 20 minutes ago. Mission Commander. Final 5 could leave the, t the cave Tuesday, which is today. We know they did. Woo! An ambulance drives past them. The four remaining boys trapped inside the cave and their soccer coach should all be e evacuated Tuesday. Mission Commander Narang Sakatra and Korn told reporters rescue operations resumed at 10.08 a.m. with the main diving team of 19 people heading to retrieve the four kids and the coach, along with a doctor and three Navy SEALs who have been with the group since shortly after they were found. I hope all four kids and the coach and the doctor and three SEALs will be out today, Atra Korn said. 12 hours and 11 minutes ago, every step of the extraction is risky, Diver says. Drangsat 
Case of one of the divers helping transport air tanks for the SEAL team spoke with CNN's Ara Danam Damam about the inherent dangers of the rescue mission. He called it the hardest mission he's ever done. He could only see our hands and a short we could only see our hands and a short distance. Secondly, the stones are razor sharp, which is dangerous for our diving. Thirdly, the passage is very narrow, said Kesab, who works as a diver for the Electricity Generating Authority of Thailand. Every step of the extraction is risky. I'm quite emotional as a father. Everybody has this feeling because we feel like it's our children who are inside the cave. Everyone is still worried. Will they get out? Will they be sick? We are just praying for them to have a safe return. 10 hours and 30 minutes, 31 minutes ago. Volunteers cook up Thai boys' favorite food. Hundreds of volunteers have been working around the clock, many from all across Thailand, cooking and serving up free food for the rescue workers and assorted media stationed at the command center near the Thang Lung Cave complex. It's an extensive operation with several large outdoor kitchens and supply stations offering sanitary goods like wet wipes and soaps. Last night, volunteers cooked up Khao Pad Krapao, a Thai traditional fried rice dish that the boys asked for in hospital. 10 hours and 21 minutes ago, boys to watch World Cup in isolation. The Thai boys, aged 11 and 16 old, and their coach were invited to the World Cup final by FIFA last Friday, but they will probably be in isolation. Permanent Secretary of Minister of Public House, Dr. Jasada Cho Kindaram Suk, said in a press conference Sunday, he said they would likely be able to watch it on television. Ten hours and five minutes ago, ninth boys, ninth boy rescued from cave complex. One more boy was brought out of the cave complex in northern Thailand on Tuesday, the third day of the rescue operations. Today, the boy is being treated as the medical on at the medical facility on site, according to the Thai Navy official with direct knowledge of the operational details. Nine of the twelve boys have now been rescued. Three boys and the coach remain in the cave. Ivan Watson tweeted, Ivan of CNN, a Thai Navy official, a member of the rescue operation, tells CNN a ninth boy has been brought out of the cave complex at 2.19 a.m. July 10th, 2018. Nine hours and 48 minutes ago, tenth boy rescued, two boys and coach remain. A tenth boy has emerged from deep within a cave complex in northern Thailand. A member of the rescue operation stationed in the, at the entrance of the cave told CNN he was the second success, uh, his was the second successful rescue Tuesday, the third day of a huge international operation to save the boys and their coach. Two boys and their coach remain trapped in the cave. Matt Rivers of CNN tweets, another boy out, a tenth boy has been brought out to the cave and is at the medical facility on site. An eyewitness who is part of the rescue operation stations at the entrance of the cave tells CNN. Two boys and their coach remain inside of 2.42 a.m. July 10th, 2018. Nine hours and 43 minutes ago, friends of the trapped Thai boy can't wait to share a plate of fried chicken with him. At the Pras Sit Sart School in May Sai, friends of Nutawat Takamsung, one of the wild boar soccer team members trapped in the cave complex, told CNN they were looking forward to sharing a big plate of fried chicken, the boy's favorite, as soon as they were united. The youngest member of the team, 11-year-old Tintun, also said he wanted to eat fried chicken when he got out of the cave in a letter with it written to his parents. Chicken being fried and sold on the roadside is a common sight in May Sai and is especially popular among the town school children. Nine hours and 15 minutes ago, previously unseen photos of wild boar soccer team. A video shared on Facebook by the wife of Naprat Kathawang, the wild boar's head coach, not the one trapped inside in Northern Thailand, features a number of previously unseen photos of the team. The photos are accompanied by a song about forgiveness, winning, and losing. So we'll just take a short little look at that. All right, nine hours and 20 minutes ago, 11th boy freed from Thai caves. The Thai rescue is continuing at a fast pace as 11th boy was rescued Tuesday afternoon local time. An eyewitness who is part of the rescue operations told CNN that 
leaves rescuers with the task of bringing out only one more boy and the wild boy soccer coach from the cave Kong clubs in northern Thailand. A total of three boys have been pulled out of the caves so far on Tuesday, the third day of the rescue operations, seven hours and 43 minutes ago. Last boy rescued from cave, coach remains inside. All 12 boys have been rescued from the cave complex in northern Thailand. An eyewitness who was part of the rescue operation told CNN their coach still remains inside. The last three members of the youth soccer team were pulled out of the cave on Tuesday afternoon, the third day of the huge international operation, to save them. Seven hours and 28 minutes ago. Hooray! Thai Navy SEALs share support for boys. While waiting for the last member of the Wild Border soccer team and the team's coach to be rescued from the cave complex, the Thai Navy SEALs shared a message of support on their Facebook page. In the post, the SEALs said, Tonight, all the Wild Boars will be in group again. Seven hours and nine minutes ago, all members of the Wild Boar soccer team now rescued. After more than two weeks inside a cave complex in northern Thailand, all 12 boys and their soccer coach have finally been rescued. The last four members of the youth soccer team and their coach were pulled out of the cave on Tuesday afternoon, the third day of a huge international operation to save them. Nineteen divers assisted in the operation on Tuesday. The boys were exploring the caves on June 23rd with their coach when they were trapped inside by heavy seas and the rains. After they were found on July 2nd, officials cautioned it could take some time to get them out. But with heavy rain forecast to hit the region, authorities decided to act. We have a CNN tweet, breaking news, all 12 boys and their coach from the youth soccer team trapped in the flooded Thai cave for nearly three weeks have now been rescued, according to an eyewitness who was part of the rescue operations. Seven hours and 38 minutes ago, Thai Navy SEALs say four divers still to come out. Thai Navy SEALs were still waiting for four divers to come out of the cave complex following the rescue of the 12 boys and their soccer coach. All 12 wild boar and their coach have left the cave, all safe, now waiting to receive four divers to come out. Hooray, the SEAL said in a post on Facebook Tuesday. Seven hours and 21 minutes ago, Thai Navy SEALs asked for support for vinyl divers who are still in the cave. The Thai Navy SEALs are asking for support for four more rescue workers who have yet to come out of the cave following the evacuation of 12 members of a soccer team from a cave in northern Thailand. The post from the Thai Navy SEALs Facebook page reads, waiting for four more Thai Navy SEALs to come out of the cave who have been accompanying the kids. Please send your support to them. Six hour and 54 minutes ago, Trump, such a beautiful moment, all freed. President Trump, who is en route to Brussels right now, just tweeted about the Thai cave rescue. Donald J. Trump of Twitter, uh, rehold Donald Trump. On behalf of the United States, congratulations to the Thai Navy SEALs and all on the successful rescue of the 12 boys and their coach from the treacherous cave in Thailand. Such a beautiful moment, all freed. Great job. 5.59 a.m. July 10th, 2018. Six hours and 58 minutes ago, three boys just arrived at the hospital. The ninth, 10th, and 11th boys who were rescued from the flooded cave made it to the hospital in Chiang Rai, a hospital official tells CNN. An ambulance reportedly transporting members of the soccer team approaches the hospital in Chiang Rai on July 10th, 2018, after being rescued in the Thang Lung Cave. Uh, and here we are, five hours and 31 minutes ago, the controversial coach who led the soccer team into the cave. Eka Paul Aki Chantarong, the 25-year-old coach of the Wild Boar soccer team, seen with 11-year-old Chanin Vaibun Rang Rang, who was also trapped in the cave. Eka Kai Chawong, 25, led the 12 boys into the cave nearly three weeks ago. Today, he was the last one out. He has been criticized by some for what is perceived to be the act of a supreme recklessness. However, the town has rallied behind Coach Aki, a former monk and community worker. Both of his parents died when he was young, essentially orphaning Aki. Like many orphaned children in Thailand, he moved away from his childhood home of Mai Sai to become a Buddhist monk at a monastery in the nearby province of Lung Phung. He remained in the care of a monastery for much of the next decade. This selflessness, one of his relatives said, is what helped to keep the children alive during those nine agonizing days before divers discovered the missing group. Five hours and 50 minutes ago, here are the names and ages of the boys and their coach. Natha Wat Sakhansai, 14. 
all 12 boys in their soccer coach are few from the cave. Here's what we know about their identities. A cow pole, Chanthamong, 25-year-old coach. Abdul Salmon, 14-year-old 8th grade student of Maysay District's Ban Wang Fan School. Parajak Suthan, 14 years old, 8th grade student of Maysay Parasat Sart School. Nathawat Thak Hamsay, 14 years old, 8th grade student of Maysay Parasat School. Paipat Pothai, 15-year-old student at Ben Sensai School. Panu Mas Saidi, 13-year-old student at Maysay Parasat School. Dang Fet from Thiep, 13 year old student at the Maysai Parasat School. Chanin Vaibun Rang Ran, 11 year old student at the Maysai Kindergarten School. Akarat Wang Suk Chan, 14 year old student at the Dar Ran Ratwita School. Pri Raprat Shum Pai Yan Jai, 16 year old student at Maysai Parasat Sat School. Pan Chai Cham Long, 16 year old student at Bang Pai Yang School. Sam Jai Jai Wang, 13 year old student at Maysai Parasat School. Long Kol Bun Payam, 13 year old 7th grade student at the Bang Pai Mat School. 5 hours and 37 minutes ago, he died while trying to rescue the boys and made teams rethink the mission. Former Sergeant Shannon Kanun, an exil, died on July 6 while working on a mission to free the trapped boys. A 38 year old who was a triathlete ran out of air while underwater as he returned from delivering oxygen tanks to the cavern while the boys were located. Kanun's death hammered home the difficulty of bringing out the group and may have changed the ways rescue missions approach the operation. Finnish volunteer diver Miko. Pasai, a long-term resident of Thailand, talked to CNN while the rescue mission was still in the motion. He said Kanan's death had changed the mood on the ground and made real for rescuers just how dangerous the mission had become. One of Kanan's longtime friends, Sergeant Anuram Kano, told CNN he was shocked to learn the news. I can't believe this happens, he told CNN by phone. He was very fit. He exercised every day, and he was a triathlete. Our last trip together was to Malaysia. He added that the last time the two spoke, we talked about the kids, whether they were out yet. Five hours and 24 minutes ago, Thai soccer coach have arrived, has arrived at the hospital. Ika Pol Aki Chana Sangwang, the 25-year-old coach of the Wellbore soccer team, has arrived at the hospital in Chiang Rai, a hospital official tells CNN. All 12 players in the coach are now in the hospital, following a rescue that took more than two weeks. Four hours and 46 minutes ago, the entire rescue team is now out of the cave. Three remaining divers and a doctor are now out of the cave mission. Commander in the ranks that Othran said as a press conference a moment ago. Here we have the uh, divers, and I think one of them will probably be the doctor. Othran also said the members of the Thai soccer team are in the hospital and will see their family soon. And four hours, 37 minutes ago, how the divers got the boys out of the cave from CNN's Ethan McCurdy, Kocha Oran, and Steve George. The rescue mission was complicated to begin with due to the fast-moving shallow water passing through very narrow passageways. Then the rain started and forecasts of more rain threatened to rise water levels and reduce the amount of available air in the cave. It became clear the boys were likely going to have to dive out. Here's how it went down. First, experts were sent in to teach the boys how to use scuba gear. During the hours long trip out of the cave, each boy was accompanied underwater by two divers. The boys and their escorts were required to squeeze through a narrow flooded channel. Rescuers had to hold the boys' oxygen tank in front of them and swim pencil-like through submerged holes. Having completed the narrow section, the boys were then handed over to separate specialist rescue teams who helped them through the remainder of the cave, much of which they could wade through. The boys were attached to a thin line. Each boy was accompanied by two divers, one in front, one behind. They had been wearing a full face diving mask with oxygen. A static rope leads to the cave entrance, so they have a line to kind of pull along. Rescuers needed to hold the boys' oxygen tank in front of them to squeeze through the submerged holes, which are an image. 
And three hours, 33 minutes ago, officials are likely monitoring the boys for cave disease. Health officials say the boys will likely to be remain in quarantine for seven days, one week, because of their weakened immune systems. Authorities will likely look for signs of histoplasmosis, also known as cave disease. It's infection caused by breathing and spores of the fungus often found in bird and bat droppings, according to the Mayo Clinic. And the first day, boys were on Sunday morning seem to be healthy, officials said. They're free of fever, fit mentally, they can feed themselves and talk normally, according to Dr. Jasada Cho Kim Dan Rong Suk, Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Public Health. So there you have it, everybody. They're finally all free, and that's awesome. Thanks for following this with me. It was a fun topic to cover, so we'll continue making more fun and... Uh, you know, info videos, little history tidbits, and stuff like that. Thanks a lot, everybody. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave me with some comments. We'll be replying. Thanks a lot, everybody. Kimo Sabi out, and we will see you in the next one.